This video is sponsored by Practical Paper Co. Hello everyone, welcome back. I wanted to show you this quick video on a memory plan with me. I have not been in this memory planner since June-ish. So we have some catching up to do because i uh been meaning to do so. I have just been so busy and I want to and I felt bad. I didn't want to wait and just start in 2023. I really wanted to keep up with my memory planning. I have pictures in my cell phone, all that kind of stuff. So I just decided what I am going to do is I'm going to print all my paid, all my, um, pictures out. We're going to put them all together and then we'll go from there. So I did do some things ahead of time. As you know, this, for those who are new, welcome, welcome, welcome. I am, um, memory planning in this practical paper co petite, large planner this is a monthly planner so um it has the monthlies and in between each month they're just blank pages so this is the monthly setup i believe that's what it's called i'll put the information in the description box below but this is when i started april of 2022 and we are in february of 2023 and the last time i remember <laughs> doing anything was in june or july of 2022 so i have all these months to make up for so i will show you a quick flip through and run my mouth at the same time in the beginning i thought i would do a monthly but i kept realizing and remembering i do not do anything with the monthlies so um i was really excited um april was actually a pretty great month it started making me feel happy again and you know i'm not um, i no longer feel victimized i no longer feel um, scared like it's a lot of things just started happening in April so I decided to you know book my cruise to you know just start doing happy things for myself so this was me decorating that page and some milestones for me walking my first 10,000 steps in one day I have always wanted to do that and I couldn't so I just mapped out the whole day for some reason this particular day was just an awesome flipping day so April was pretty great, for, pretty good to me. It was more like um, the type, you know how when you go through some real awful things, some like sheer hell things, and then things start getting better and life starts becoming great. That's this transition after hell has over and you start feeling good. So that's that. So this is just uh, Easter and um, self-love. My letter to myself, I owe my... As somebody said this, you owe you owe the biggest apology to yourself for putting up with what you did not deserve for way too long. I heard somebody say that on TikTok or one of those things, and I had to write it down because that's exactly right. Even though it wasn't my fault, I took a lot of crap. No longer. So that's what this was. I did my little letter and all that kind of stuff, and I still didn't put anything here. still blank, but this is how it looks. So, um, this is May. Now we're leading up to Mother's Day and uh, my birthday's in June. So you guys know I celebrate the entire month. So, um, <laughs> this was just me, you know, mapping out all the stuff that led up to Mother's Day and all the happy things that were taking place. <laughs> me talking that was so funny. And just a, you know, little Mother's Day blurb that I had here. And then, boom, my 20-day vacation that I, a staycation. I was supposed to go different places. I did do some traveling, but not what I, what I had planned on doing because of other folks, not because of me. But it is okay because I still have fun at home, okay? So these are all just the gift cards and stuff, all the lovely things that I got. And I just decorated it how I could and... Just so many people showed me so much love. And I really wanted to celebrate my last year in my 40s because this year, in 2023, I'm turning to Big 5 -0. So, yeah, from that, I was excited. So, this is just me decorating um, each page with what I wanted and saying, showing all the different things that I actually did. And, um, yeah. <laughs> Every year I have Cracker Barrel because I love Cracker Barrel. And every year for my birthday, for the since, oh, 20, 2007 or 2008, I go to Cracker Barrel every birthday. 
And then last year, 2022, I just wanted an Impossible Whopper. So that's what I got for my birthday. It was weird, but that's me. And then me uh, showing off my birthday outfit, which was not the outfit I was supposed to wear, which was a funny story, but there it is. And all the items I got from my very special people in my life that I just love them so much. And they gave me so many just this very overwhelming love that I got from a lot of people. Even my llama sister sent me some llama love for my birthday. I was so grateful. And a nice, wonderful lady. Her name is Wanda, but I would call her Wonderful. So she's really a sweetheart. She, she gave me a lot of stuff too. And this was just a, a recreation of the um, self-care or birthday thing, to-do list for each day on my staycation to do something totally different. And I have it in my actual travel um, planner, but I wanted to recreate it because I loved it so much. So I kind of recreated it here so I would have a, you know, just a memory keep of that. I did make a, I don't know if you saw, but I did take a picture of this. Let me show you. In here, just so you can see the actual one. This is the actual one that's in my planner. And this is what it looks like. But I tried to recreate that in here so I could still have it. You know what I mean? So that's that. And then these are some amazing things. This is from my planner bestie. She sent that to me. It actually made me cry. And then, of course, the ladies um, from work, two ladies from work, coordinated with another lady from work. <laughs> and they bought me a ring um, doorbell for my safety. They wanted me to feel safe in my new home. And that was really cool. It made me That made me cry a lot. But I tried not to cry in front of the lady that brought it because she wanted to install it for me. Because she knows I don't know how to do that kind of stuff. It was really pretty easy. I probably could have done it, but I was over. I was too overwhelmed with emotion and trying not to show it in front of her because I didn't want her to start crying and she'd be sitting there like all right just get it together because I need you to work it out you know so I'm sucking it back because it emotional so this was a great day so some more stuff for my Care Bear there's another co-worker of my her name I, her name is similar to Care Bear but I call, call her Care Bear because somebody her, one of her loved ones called her Care Bear and I give everybody that is close to me a nickname so that's Care Bear, and she brought me a beautiful <laughs> gift. It's funny. So um, this was just, I guess, my um, uh, like my end of the the end of the birthday response, and you know, this is what I wanted to do. And here we are now. I have all my items printed out, and you know what I need to do, and all my pictures are here. So what I thought was. I would just put you guys on, um, I would speed up the video, put some music or over, or put some music on and let you see me just lay my photos down and just plan and work it out from there. So that was what I was thinking about doing. So we are going to get started. How about that? Okay, so apparently... I forgot to print some photos. I thought all the photos were in here. I went through this list and went through this list and I thought I had everything here, but I look like I'm missing some pictures. Like the photo of me at the um, domestic violence party that we had um, for Domestic Violence Awareness Month. There was a party that I attended for Domestic Violence Awareness Month and I thought I printed it out. I have, it's not here. I also had a my PR team announcement that also took place in uh, October, and that's not here. <laughs> so we're going to just, I'm going to keep this blank, and um, I'm going to put DV party, so I'll remember what's supposed to be on this page. And then here, I'm going to put uh, my PR, I could have swore... I printed all these photos out, but the heck if I know where they are, because I have my pile of photos here, but they're not in this pile. I'm looking. I keep looking, and I'm like, oh, well. So we're just going to keep moving. So I'm going to keep these blank and come back and add when I need to add and move from there. And, uh, yeah, I don't, that's all I can think of because <laughs> that's I don't know what else to do. So, we'll keep moving.
So in um, September, I got an all expense paid trip to Atlantic City. We stayed at the Tropicana. I was on my, I'm a union steward with the awesome, um, awesome union. Yay, yay. And um, we had a conference there and I was so grateful that it paid, they paid for everything for us, which was really freaking awesome. And um, the room that I had was stunning. Like it was like a whole, like a one bedroom apartment huge the the living room alone could probably fit about 30 people it was humongous and I knew it was going to be something when I opened the door and it was a long hallway to walk down at first I thought I was in somewhere different like I was like what is going on I actually ran back out because I got a little nervous wasn't sure it was at the end of the hallway but it was really awesome so this is the view from my window nothing but the beach nothing but ocean that's what I got it was so freaking awesome it was you, I couldn't complain. You know, it was just awesome. This is what the living room looked like. So when you walk down that hall and then you turn, this is the view you get. Over here is a bathroom. Over here is a big um, closet. And then over here, once you come in, is like a little kitchenette, which is this. So um, there was a kitchenette here, television set. And then um, this is what was across from it. And then when you went to the right of the um, living room here, to the right here was the bedroom. So this was the scene you saw the bed. Over here was a humongous bathroom. Another bath. Yeah, I said two bathrooms. I had two bathrooms, y'all. And it was just me in, in the room. So I don't, I, I was not expecting this. I actually literally started crying because I just was like, I needed this. I deserve this. This is freaking amazing. So this over here was the big, humongous bathroom. And over here is this site, which is another television set that was across from the bedroom at the doorway when you come in. So that's what I have here. I'm going to do a lot of journaling and decorating, add some stickers and all that. But I'm not going to do that now. I just wanted to at least get my pictures in so I can, you know, get caught up. And on the 15th of September... I am a Wild U student, so I got access to the early, uh, I got early access to the Go Wild tickets, pre-sale tickets. Um, everyone else got tickets at the end of, I think on the 24th or so, or 23rd or whatever. They got, um, I think it was the end of the month, at the end of September or something around there. They Two weeks after this date, the everyone else was allowed to buy their tickets. So I would, because I am a Wild U student, I was able to get access to um, the presale and buy my tickets immediately because these tickets sell out quick. So I was really grateful. This was my, my 50th birthday gift to myself, even though I'm not turning 50 until June. And this is in like the end of February, beginning of March. I, I decided and when they gave me that email on September 15th, 2022, I was buying it because I had already like saved up, you know, was putting away $125 a paycheck up to the side just to save to go to this um, for the first time. So this was the announcement that came in the email. I kind of decorated it a little bit and added these stars. But this was basically how it looked. And then I did some journaling here. And then I printed out on sticker paper. I put this little received here with the date. And I put it on a strip of paper just to cover the whole page. Boom, it's already decorated. Same for this. Um, I did this as well. It's so funny that this was this is my ex-husband's birthday. When I saw the date, I'm like, why does that date look familiar? And I could not figure out, like, where is this coming from? And then I was like, oh, yeah. So it was nice to buy something for myself on his birthday. <laughs> I just, oh, look, and I even put it down there. I just thought it was hilarious. So I bought my ticket. Um, this is what they give you when you um, have your email. When your email is sent, once you pay for your ticket, they send you this. So, of course, I printed the ticket page out, and then I added some journaling. It says, I brought my 50th birthday gift today. What's funny is it's on my soon-to-be ex ex's birthday, and then I had a crack up because it was funny. He's my ex now as of this video, but... At the time that I purchased, he was not. And at the, and I also created my contact cards. So this is what I'll be giving out at Go Wild to anyone who's interested. I'm not sure if I'm going to still play with them or not. But I know I have them in all of my, um, what are those things called? 
uh, my table mate gifts. So all my table mate gifts have this on the inside of them. Did so I did add the call, my PR call. This is my first PR team, so I wanted to make sure I memory keep that. This is a an event that I went to um, for Domestic Violence Awareness Month, which is October, and I am a domestic violence survivor. So when I went to this event. I created this t-shirt and I wore it here. This was the outfit that I originally picked out and I wore everything but the jacket. I switched the jacket out because I forgot I had this purple and white um, animal print and it just matched perfect. The purple's matched up really good. So I switched out that. So that's what this is saying. So I did that. I just did this, made it digital real quick because I wanted to um, not spend too much time on it. It's, it's very dear to me, but I don't want to be emotional about it either. So I just thought with all the pretty purple and all, I just do that. And then this is a picture of me. I forgot to take my mask off. So it's sitting underneath my neck, which is weird to me. And then also because of where we are, um, you know, for safety reasons, we don't take pictures on the inside. So this is me outside. It was dark outside. So all you can see is me. I don't know if you guys are aware, but I'll tell you, but I am licensed to marry people. And um, believe it or not, this is me and my little, and I call her BB. This is me and BB at Meg's and um, her hubby's wedding. And, um, and this is their invitation. And it's so funny because this young lady, I married her husband a year later, a year before that. So a year ago, I married her and her husband. And now it's us two at these two's wedding, and they met, asked me to marry them almost almost a year at, a year later. They got married in September. These got they got married in October of this year. So I just put my little business card here, and um, yeah, that's what that's what that is. The um, invitation is so pretty. So if I ever want to look at it, I could just go like that and just you know. It was really, it was really cool. So I just decided to kind of make it a little, you know, that way it keeps shut when I open it. Now this baby, I did not marry her, but I did attend her wedding and I forgot to put it in, in the beginning. I forgot to put that here, that this should have been here because this was August and then this is, this right here is September. So September should have went on. And I didn't realize it, so I said I'll just put the two weddings that I attended in 2022 together. So this is the invitation that I um, I have from uh, Chantel, little pudding, from her wedding. And this is the other little pudding. This little pudding. This little pudding. So I know it's too different. I told you I nickname all my babies. It's just what I do. So this is me and little pudding, not pudding, but this is pudding. So she and I at her wet at their wedding. So um, I'm gonna get a picture of her and her husband because I don't I left it at work because they gave it to me, but I took it to work or I had or she gave it to me at work and I just hung it up at my desk. So I'm gonna put a picture of them here too that way and do then do my journaling around and that's that. And then I thought. I, I didn't do too much in October, I mean in November and December, but my um, uh, advent calendars, which was in December, so I will probably um, put them, I'll probably put them here, my advent calendar, what I did at Christmas time, and go from there. I had to write this down because I have all, I can, you guys, I'm a great cook. I can cook. I can make anything. Even though I'm a vegetarian, I can cook the, the dead animals for the people who eat the dead animals. But I'm a great cook. But the one thing I can never cook, there's actually two things I could not do. Make rice. Thank God for rice cookers. For some reason, I just don't know how to make it right. I don't know what I'm doing wrong with it. But rice, I cannot cook it without a rice cooker. Thank God for rice cookers. Another thing that I could not make, but I finally made it. I am 49 years old, and I finally made potato salad successfully. Yay for me. I was so happy. I posted this on Facebook because I was so dang on happy. Let me tell you, this was so delicious. I just have so many nostalgic feelings about this whole thing. So for 
I wasn't feeling good on Thanksgiving. I had some really bad allergies. I was not feeling good. I was in the bed all day. And um, so after that, I did my version of Turkey Day because I wasn't feeling good on actual Thanksgiving. So I just stayed in the bed. And um, so this is what I made with my, uh, I think I ended up having salmon or um, swahi. For that day. Yeah, I know I said I'm vegetarian, but every now and then I like a piece of fish. And I only crave fish when I am protein deficient. So that's what I have with them. And then here, my wonderful friend Heather, she went with me to Starbucks. I've never been to Starbucks, you guys. This is my first time. So I thought I'd print this out. I think I post this on uh, social media as well with me looking like old, oh, old, oh, old oh, lady. <laughs> my, see, that's why I don't wear my hair back. Or straight because you'll see all the gray when I wear it natural like the picture you see here you don't really see the grays so um, I really look like an old lady here but I usually don't wear it back unless I'm just like puttering around the house or you know I'm not going anywhere specific and it was a rainy rainy cold and horrible day <laughs> but we decided to go anyway so she met me to Starbucks and I had my first Starbucks and I couldn't figure out whether to get a hot drink or a cold drink and they really wasn't, like, I really didn't understand, like, the fact that they don't really have decaf coffee, which I thought was weird. And they kept saying how they can, you know, put water down an espresso or some crap. I was like, yeah, no, thank you. I don't even know what that means. So the lady figured something out for me to have something that was not caffeinated. So I got this drink and that drink. I took a picture of it. I got a cold one and a um, hot one. And I took a couple sips from each and I threw it out because they are too damn going sweet for me. Jessica can't handle all that. That was too much. That is definitely, if you have a problem going to the ladies room, you drink that. It'll take, it'll clean you right out. <laughs> So, old lady moment, I'm sorry, but uh, Starbucks was definitely interesting. If, I'm glad I was finally able to experience it. It has been on my list, and I never got to do it. So, Christmas time, I honestly didn't really do much uh, October, um, November and December, so I don't really have a whole lot to journal or to memory plan in. So I did, um, I did not go on a Christmas cruise, which is what I wanted to do because I'm going on two vacations in 2023. And I just thought that is either go on those vacations or do the Christmas cruise at the last minute, which will cost me a fortune. So I chose to just stay home once again, <laughs> but I do plan on going on a Christmas cruise one day. So I decided to do something else and I did advent calendars and I'm going to tell you, I enjoyed it. So much so I'm gonna put the pictures of the advent calendars I had in this but I did add these three pictures um, people who are close to me if they have children I always try to do something for them for Christmas whether it's you know a little a little toy or stuffed animal well this year I did the little elves because they came in three different skin shades which I thought was amazing because I have babies of all skin shades so I just thought that was so awesome so as you can see um, uh, these were the first four I made and of course my name is on there because I hang it in my um Hang it at my desk at work so people can see it because a lot of people put in um, Orders and everything I made over 50 of these Whew, I was tired. I'm gonna tell you but it was fun. It was fun making them for everybody. So that's just um, I wanted to put that picture down and of course um, I did a reel over this uh, chocolate It's called the perfect man and um <laughs> my little pudding she gave me the perfect man for christmas and a beautiful christmas card of course gift card she spoils me rotten i tell you that's my little pudding so she gave me um the perfect man is the chocolate man <laughs> and i told her that is the perfect man for me i tell you he's rich he's sweet he don't talk back he don't do nothing but be the perfect man so i thought that was so funny my uh, christmas breakfast that i made for myself and that was um, black and swahi with eggs and grits. Yeah, it was pretty good. I only ate half of it. I couldn't eat all of it, you guys. I have a really little stomach. But it was good to have. I probably end up eating it for lunch, too. I know me. I won't waste food, so I'll probably eat half of it. And then come back at lunchtime and eat it. Or whenever I'm hungry again and eat the rest. So that's most likely what I did. In January 27th, I finally got my divorce, y'all almost 12 months 11 months i finally am free yay for me single lady single single lady 
I'm a single lady, single, single lady. So I'm finally, <laughs> I know you guys are like, Jessica. I am so happy to be finally free. This is the last chapter of my life. My goal was to not stress over the fact that it wasn't, it wasn't, you know, finalized and it took forever. I stopped, you know, mentally stressing over that because that was really putting me through a lot and just said, you know what, eventually it's coming and when it does, we're going to celebrate. So yay. So I am going to journal this whole thing because I'm going to tell you I was feeling some kind of way. I was so freaking happy to be for this chapter of my life to finally be over. So I just took a picture of my Memoji from my cell phone and put that there and I just put that inside. And this is the little image that I I found this uh, happily divorced on uh, on the Google. And then I just add from Mrs. to, from Mrs. to Miss and then the, the month. That, I mean, in the date that it actually took place. And then three days later, I got stupid COVID, which I thought was so dumb. Dumb, stupid COVID. But I guess my body, like I said, was cleansing itself and it was getting rid of all the toxins of the past. So, um... I took the, I was upset because I was, you know, working a lot of overtime because I'm going on my first vacation at, at the end of February and I was a little annoyed because this was, you know, the end of January, beginning of February, I had planned on doing a lot of overtime <laughs> and it didn't work out that way. So the first week in February, I was home sick with COVID. Yeah, that's dunk. But it was just me saying the same thing, how dumb it was. It was stupid to catch COVID and how the COVID medicine made me worse and not better. So I only took the one and as you can see, I took a picture of it and put it in the garbage. Yes, I did. And I put that, it was so awful. And this is my positive COVID test. And then I saw this on the Google and it says COVID sucks, sucks, sucks. And it does, does, does. I will say I am very grateful. It was nowhere near as bad as I thought it was going to be because I have pre-existing conditions. So I was grateful for the vaccines. They seem to be doing what the um, cardiologist told me it was going to do. Thank you, Dr. Thomas. Dr. Thomas is awesome. She like sat me down because I was never going to get vaccinated. I was like, I'm not getting vaccinated. I'm not letting them shoot me with nothing. And when she sat me down, it was basically, she was very kind, but I'm just going to give you Jessica's uh, uh, version of it. And she basically said, if you catch COVID in your condition without being vaccinated, you might not make it. And that was a cure for Jessica. I went and told him I couldn't wait. We had my arm exposed. There, come on, shoot me, shoot me, shoot me, shoot me. So I, so basically that that's my paraphrasing. But she was very kind with it. But that's basically how she said it. You're not gonna make it if you catch COVID right now. And the new variants coming out. She said your heart is not gonna be able to handle it. So when she told me that, I was like, okay. So um, I went and got vaccinated and boosted, but I did not get the second booster with the Omicron or whatever it's called. And I think that's why I got COVID because I didn't get that second one. But I said I will think about it and go get it. But thank God I was, it just felt like a little chest cold. That's it. I didn't have any fever. I didn't have any chills, but I did have that awful flipping headache. Oh God. And it came after the fact, but I don't know if it was the, um, the, uh, the effects for the medicine because the medicine was so violent and so horrible. My body just, I, it was horrible. It was awful. I, I couldn't take it. You had to take three pills in the morning, three pills at night for five days. I took the first three pills and I couldn't take it. Like my whole body just defecated. Like it was really awful. So after that was horrible and the bad taste in my mouth, I was like, I got worse side effects from the damn medicine than I did from COVID. It just felt like a regular chest cold. I had a sore throat, started as a sore throat. And then the next day it was in, it was in my chest and I felt like crap. And I just slept away. I slept it all the way. I kept popping NyQuil for blood pressure and kept it moving. <laughs> and then the doctor, um, got me to COVID. Of course, I had to quarantine and the uh, lovely pharmacy delivered my medicine like a couple hours later. And I took that crap and almost, uh, uh. so I threw that in the trash. That's the picture of it in the garbage. I told the doctor she wants it. She can come get it because it's going to be in a dumpster because I'm not taking that crap. 
I know. Everybody can tell me, Jessica, you're the worst patient. I was like, yeah, when you make me feel worse from the medicine, oh, I'm freaking taking it. What do you want me to take it for? I did lose four pounds. That was the only happy part about this whole sucky COVID is that I lost four pounds. <laughs> show you with some um, other photos that I did find that I forgot about. Um, this is uh, my mother in the ICU. Touch and go for a second. She's good now, but I had to document it and I wanted to put it in here because if it wasn't um, for her situation, my daughter and I wouldn't get back together. So it was really emotional and great of course my mom was out of it for a while but we knew she felt better when she saw us hugging and kissing and she was like it takes me to go to the icu for you two to get together like she just started fussing so we knew right then and there she was fine and we just giggled so i was it was happy tears but because it's been long i ain't seen my baby almost six years y'all so it was very very emotional for me and i was so grateful and thankful and that's my boo boo that my baby. So that is um what I have, y'all. So far, my memory keeping is caught up. My memory planner is caught up to 2023, and I'm grateful for that. Um, so I hope you like it. If you do, please give me that big thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And don't forget, subscription is free. All you have to do is click that subscribe button down below. And we all part of the same family. Yay for me. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you know every time I upload a video. So thanks for watching. Until next time, be blessed.